it's always a pleasure and more than a pleasure i think it's an honor to talk to youngsters to talk to college students because ultimately the country or whichever country it is it is the youngsters the college going students who will really take the whole burden of taking the country from one level to another level so here i am with you feeling very elated feeling very happy though dr mitali has told lot of things about me but i would like to assure you i am just like one of you and it all depends on how we take life how we take challenges how we accept the challenges and how we come out of it what i wanted to convey the fastest man on earth has been hussein bolt even this olympic in this olympic in tokyo he did not participate but his record has not been broken by the present gentleman uh, from italy what is common between hussein bolt and you and me and every student who is today listening to this program hussein bolt also has been like you and me he also was a young boy he also before he started walking he would have fallen down a number of times he would have actually his knees would have bruised all of us when we start learning when you see the children start walking they fall down they get up the new knees, knees get bruised he also had been like you and me his knees have been getting bruised but where is he today the fastest man ever on this earth with the high, fastest time for 100 meters what does it mean why i said this story to to all of you it is that you and me can also become like a hussein bolt it needs which i talk in my talk it needs certain various commitments various sacrifices various way how you take life those are needed but it is very clear that you and me or each of the student today who are listening to this program you can be very sure you are no different from the most successful man on this earth not only in the sports field it could be academic field it could be professional field it could be any field you should think that you are capable of breaking the world record in any any area okay fine with this small introduction let me first come back to the program first of all you know as many times as, as i always say uh aupcharikta you know aupcharikta is a hindi word obviously formalities now formalities is needed many people think why what is the necessity of a formality formality is a part of culture formality is a part of our religion formality is a part of the way we are brought up in our life you go to somebody's house you go to somebody elder you see you touch his feet or her feet that's a formality it's a ritual so i let me come back to my formality my ritual first of all i would really like to thank the <coughs> isms management and particularly mr uh, devraj banerjee and dr mithali talukdar for giving me this invitation to address you students i have known dr mithali very well a very you know scholarly person a good management expert a good professional leader a good leader in the field of education whom almost everybody in the country knows so when she asked me that would you we would like to have you to give a talk i can never say no to her i said definitely i will be available on the date whenever you call me whenever you want me and here i am so i am grateful to both uh, mr banerjee and dr mithali for giving me this Uh, opportunity to talk to all of you i am at present sitting in kerala in a small town deep deep south so uh, fortunately it's not raining very heavily otherwise there is always some internet problem so after completing my this small formality of thanking the management for giving this opportunity i would like to now come back to the students who are today listening to my talk congratulations to all of you 
you may ask why congratulating why i am congratulating you even though you just entered the college you're not even passed it will take two years for you to come but the very fact that you are entered such an important prestigious institution for such an important program that itself deserves congratulations how many people in this country can one afford two can get management education management education is to be very honest very very few percentage of the indian student population can get can avail management education so you are lucky you should consider yourself really lucky that you have got admission to such an important program and i understand the mba international program is actually accredited by edexcel uk that's another great you know laurel for your institute so you can get an mba today there are diamond dozens of mbas in the whole country but you would like to get an mba from a place which there is a for which there is a recognition not only in the country but all over the world so ladies and gentlemen uh, so ladies and gentlemen congratulations to each one of you now this congratulation you should not just take it for the name sake you should really work hard for getting this congratulation and making this congratulation a success making this congratulations a foundation of your life of your career the two years which you are going to spend as part of your curriculum i think that will be the most important two years in your life up till now when you when a student is in school when he is in plus 2 when he is doing a b a graduate degree bcom or a bsc or a b we are all studying and after that completion of whichever program was it maybe a bba maybe a bcom you still want to do some more studies you still aspire to do some more studies so you and you are at the mercy is not the right word but technically yes you are you are you are dependent on the, your parents for your education till that time here is one program once you come out of this college after two years by 2023 april may whenever that or june whenever that program gets closed you will be then standing on your own feet you can't then go back to your parents and say help me uh, no so this two years after completion of these two years you are definitely going to wanting to stand on your own feet and not dependent on your parents for any further expenses for your life so why i said that this two years is very crucial for you your professional life to a large extent will be based on how you not only how you perform but how you learn what you learn in these two years from your college from your teachers from your other students and from whatever training etc you have so these two years are very crucial very important i will come back to you on this particular aspect a little bit later the next point which i wanted to say is i think you have to really show your gratitude to whom to your parents first i know getting a good education in management is not easy it costs money and i can assure you i am aware that there could be many families many parents who have done lot of sacrifices to ensure that their children get into management education get into good management colleges they would have lots of sacrifices they would have made they don't expect anything from you they i am very sure about that they only want you have to come up well they only want you should get good education they only want you should succeed in your life and for that one thing which is which i want you to give back to them i'm sure you also may be wanting but even still i thought i should always remind you you have to give gratitude gratitude is the only thing which does not cost everything else cost you want to give something a gift it cost you want to give an ac to your father it cost you want to give a car it cost you want to give you a, a dress to your mother it cost but gratitude doesn't cost anything and that you have to really keep it in mind not today 
not tomorrow, all your life, because these two years when they are actually sending you to such an important program, and when you come out of this particular institute and you succeed in your life, you should not ever forget your parents. And in the same breath or in the same breath, you should show your gratitude to your teachers. Your teachers are very important, particularly in a program like this. See, when you are in school, a teacher becomes like a, you know, a, a role model for small children in, in first standard, second standard, fourth standard. When you see a teacher, you have, you, she, be, she or he becomes like a role model. But as you grow up, it's not easy for a teacher to teach because we are all grown up adolescents. Some of, the, some of us are even in early 20s. So a teacher does a lot of sacrifice to teach in such an institute like Management Institute. So you should actually show your gratitude to your teachers also. These are the two initial points which I wanted to tell you so that you have a career which is fantastic, which is successful. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, the talk or the topic which uh, you know, I was talking to Dr. Mitali, what should I talk? And one of the points what she uh, suggested was bridging the gap of industry and academia. That was the talk. Uh, I am slightly digressing from that talk with an intentional, intentionally basically, because when I came to know that you are all fresh graduates, just taken admission to this program, and at the same time, you are going to have a program of international business management or international exposure. So I thought I should slightly uh, talk something different. So it becomes useful to you. It doesn't make them boring to you. That's also very important. So, so I will try to cover up as many uh, points as possible. Before I say anything, I want to say something. Uh, I am not a management graduate. Okay. Uh, I, I, I'm, you know, if you have seen, if I don't know the background of the students who are actually listening to me, but you would have seen the earlier days when children, we were in small towns, small villages, when we are asked to learn swimming, what people used to do, the parents or the elders will take us and put it into the pond. You know, they learn swimming. That is what it used to happen. So that is one way of learning swimming. Second way of learning swimming is like today, many of the, you know, in cities, what they do, parents, by the time the child is... Uh, five years old, six years old, they want to send their children to learn swimming. So first they buy all the gear, the same suit, the cap, the goggles, arrange a coach for them, uh, arrange a swimming pool for them, and then they put their child to learn swimming. Both are good. I'm not saying one is good or one is bad. Both are equally good. And, but it all depends on how the student, how the learner of swimming actually learns with what commitment he learns and it comes up well. So I am the earlier one, earlier version, like the, the child is thrown into the pond and said, Le, beta, tu ter, tu shuru kar ter na. So if he succeeds swimming well, he comes up well. So I did not have a formal management education. Obviously, when I when I passed up, when I completed my graduation, that was in the year 1973, there were very few management institutes. And at the same time, I could not because I was desperately looking for a job that time. Uh, though I regret, but at the same time, I feel that management education definitely in a college helps you a lot. But you, when you live your life in a professional life, in a professional world, you can learn management by daily applying to the various management techniques. So had it been today, a open class, a normal class where I was standing and talking to you, it would have been totally different. Today, the world is different. Why the world is different? We all know that we are caught up with a pandemic, which nobody knew. Alvin Toffler, I don't know whether you have heard of him. Alvin Toffler has written a book called Future Shock in the year 1970. 1970. In that book, 
he talks about the future of the world will be totally toxic to the not due to technology but he says it's due to political inclination due to physio- psychological changes due to overall physiological changes there will be a change in the world there will be huge change 50 years back 1970 this is 2021 just 50 years back he had forecast in a novel but i'm sure even alvin toffler would never have imagined that such a catastrophe can happen anywhere in the world such a, a pandemic which has affected almost everybody almost all countries of the world be it developed country be it developing country be it a rich country be it a poor country be it a rich man a man a woman anybody it has affected everybody across the globe we know then our prime minister announced on march 24 2020 it's almost one year and almost four months 16 months over we are still not sure how and when this will go though obviously there has been a lot of change on account of vaccination i am not going into the i am not at all going into the covid issue except touching just one or two points this pandemic has impacted every sphere of the human life it has affected economy to education it has affected trade and travel it has affected agriculture and industry it has affected every human aspect every human life and as far as education is concerned it has affected more than 1.2 billion people students across the world 70% of the student population in the world has been affected by this pandemic yes it's a different matter we all we, i can i won't use the word we all came out but we took steps to counter and see the best way how this pandemic can be the effects can be less how we can work one classic example is what you and me are today doing giving this talk right from a village in kerala where you are all sitting i don't know you may be sitting in your home or you are in pune i am not sure about that but in a, that is a one simple case the educational field has changed such a uh, such a change the educational field has seen such a change that no one could have ever imagined so this is the real strength of the human mind innovation is the strength of the human mind which we cannot ever think that any other body any other species can ever do that i am not going to talk about the pandemic and its effect no but i am going to talk a little bit about how the life will be there after pandemic for students who actually pass out say you will be passing out in 2023 i am sure you know when we when you want to invest in your parents want to invest some money for you for this course thousand thoughts would have come in their mind is it worth spending this much money for two years and then taking a mba degree is it worth spending not worth spending what will happen to the future what will happen will you get a job there may be 100 questions in your mind in your parents mind i want to tell you one thing if your parents somebody is listening they can also be, listen to what is my thought this is my thought i am not a you know what do you call an astrologer but i am only talking from the various things i am a scientific person technological person from whatever things is available by 2023 when you come out i am sure the world will try will be almost back to its normal life that is number one number two the requirement of management graduates after the pandemic will definitely be more will definitely will be more it won't be less there may be some areas where there will be lot of effect impact in terms of job but not for management graduates because there are certain areas in the country in the world where you will need more management graduates more management expert one particular area is in in, in the field of medical management hospital management pandemic has actually thrown us or given us information that how important is hospital and hospital management today there is not much management in hospitals doctors know how to how to treat a patient how to prescribe a medicine 
but they are not good management they are not good managers so that is one area second area where there will be huge requirement is in terms of agricultural management agriculture we all came to we all realized in this pandemic uh, one thing which is needed for all of us is only food grades food grades food grades nobody wants good clothes where is the need of the clothes because people are not going out nobody needs footwear nobody needs any other things agricultural is the most important thing so that there are areas so there are plenty of areas i am not going into that but i wanted to assure you one thing i wanted to give you confidence to you one thing my dear students that when you come out after two years you will find that there is a huge demand for management graduates across the country and across the world and you stand a better chance because you are doing this course in international management and the same way there will be huge requirements of management experts across the world so you will you can definitely hope definitely aspire that the future for you is very bright the future for all of the students who are today listening to this program you can you know you can comfortably tell your parent that yes after 2 years there should not be any problem for you to get a good job and to have a successful career so this was just a point to tell you because that this this anxiety is there in everybody's mind everybody is mind you talk to any student you talk to any parent they first they ask what will happen what is the job job condition yes today if you come out today there is a definitely a job issue is there because the whole market whole economy is yet to open up so this was another point which i wanted to tell you now one important point which is there when you come out of this college when you do this two year program and come out what is it have you ever imagine what does a cat, you know you will attend interviews no doubt about it have you ever thought what will be the interviewer looking at you when you are actually coming out and attending an interview if i ask this question to students and if it is a open class i am sure i i could have asked some students what is their reaction and you know most of the students will say oh yes uh, attitude the knowledge the communication the presentation etc 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 all these are needed but ladies and gentlemen the most important thing which an interviewer or the owner or the manager of the company who comes to recruit people look at young candidates is something different they look at whether this person has got entrepreneur skill that is a very very important aspect what is an entrepreneur skill entrepreneur skill is exactly what they look at a candidate because Uh, attitude everybody will say good attitude only entrepreneur skill is how that person will feel joining an organization whether he feel that this organization will i belong to this organization this organization is mine if he has got that attitude in his mind the chances of his being selected is very high however you you know you put nice tie nice dress everything it is not going to help simple i'll give an example if there is a need of a driver and if a driver drives very well very fast goes and he knows how to maneuver and go for your car for a company's car for a college car will you select him or another driver who thinks this car is my car i have to drive very carefully if there is a pothole i will see i'll go on the side you will select the second gentleman though he may not be a very smart driver though he may not look very good driver but if he thinks this car belongs to him you will select him so this exactly came this is in mind when you attend an interview one of the most important point which you have to always keep in mind that this company belongs to me and that feeling has to be given you need all the other things i am not saying you don't need it you need to have intelligence you need to have uh, attitude you need to your communication should be good but the most important thing which is very critical for you and keep this in mind 
all your two years in life and even for the future. 